mine. Bon appétit. Merci beaucoup. So we are at the Nats game and we're about to go there and check out yes. who's playing. The Nats. But who else are they playing? The other team. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It is the Nats and the Arizona. Yeah, the Arizona whatever. The Arizona something. We were invited. Thanks, Kenyatta. Thank you. <laughs> we were invited, so we're gonna go. We're fasting. We can't eat or drink until about 8 p.m. tonight. No hot dogs today. No hot dogs. Shit. Nothing else. No drinks. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna go and enjoy ourselves Absolutely. and see what we see. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. So what we're we gonna do now? We're yes. going to the store. I need to buy some for me. Yes, guys. It's a little rainy, but it's not too bad. At least the weather is nice. Yeah. I love everything about the nuts because the logo is W like we did, and it's red. So, yep. This is a interesting shirt. Now I'm with Pauline. I don't know why I want to show private shirts. Did the Nats win? No, of course not. <laughs> we were in the stadium. 
every we single time we go. We got a bad luck for the Nat. Actually. The Nat loses. Yes. But, but anyhow, we're going to enjoy our food and we're going to forget about the Nat. Yay! I'm so hungry. <laughs> yeah. We can't wait to go to Agora to get some uh, Turkish food for our Eftar and it's going to be just amazing. Hey yeah, guys, look how beautiful it is. So we've been to Agora twice. In different ones. Yeah. There's one in Tyson's Corner in Virginia and there's one in DC but we prefer the one in Tyson's Corner. Why you prefer the one in Tyson's Corner? I don't know. There's something so beautiful about the one in Tyson's Corner. Like I see more... Um, <laughs> this, this might sound bad. Muslims. Um, Hijabi girls. Hijabis. And I think... I don't know why, but I feel like the food tastes better. I agree. I love that. Um, I really enjoy that. Yeah. And we have been trying Turkish food in uh, different restaurants here in DC, right? And the area. So. Yeah. You know, actually, we actually went to Istanbul yeah. and um, the food actually was, was, was good. It was good. There were some places that were better than others, but like I find that the Turkish food here is really good. And well, we never actually did the Turkish dinner. I guess technically we did it in uh, Agora, DC, but we, not at Agora Tyson's. We did brunch, brunch yes. and the brunch was spectacular. It was spectacular. And we have been in Ottoman Taverna, absolutely, as well. They, they have a great uh, Turkish food. We have yeah. been there twice or three times. Yeah, we've actually been to, yeah, yeah, you're right, in uh, Mount Vernon. Uh, Ottoman Taverna is really good. and. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's a bit more contemporary. I like it. It's, yeah, it's more contemporary. Um, and Agora is very, like, I don't know, traditional. If that's what we can call it. Yes. It's more home-cooked. More home-cooked meal rather than the more, like, contemporary style. Maybe just be different parts of Turkey. One could be more from the north or south or Asian side or whatever so <laughs> I didn't see the mirror because you're falling oh okay well my bad uh, all right you know maybe it's gonna be the last video <laughs> 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 yes as uh, my baby she was saying uh, we have been in Istanbul and I we enjoyed food there but the best food it's not in the touristy places actually where there are like crowds and people, too much people, and the food is not good. We didn't enjoy it a lot, but in some other places, yes, the food was amazing. Yeah. And the yeah. hookahs when I had the best hookah ever in Istanbul. Yeah, but you know what I remembered when we went to that hookah place? It was this little tiny hole in the wall. It actually looked like a church. Absolutely. It looked like a church, and we went through this little tiny, um, uh, alleyway to yeah. get this little door, a nice little cute little arch door to get into the place and then it opened up into like four big rooms and the rooms were all hookah and full of people and no one is speaking English no one speaking English it was literally a local spot this was no like like no Americans no Europeans nothing it was a hundred percent Turkish people in there and all guys there wasn't like, I don't think that there no, might have been a couple of girls. With big mustache. Yeah. And of course, they're drinking tea or their coffee and they're smoking hookah. But what I remembered is that it was really good. I mean, I don't really smoke hookah or smoke, period. No. But I did um, smoke there. And the day after, I got so sick. I actually got the cold. And um, so, yeah, so whenever I think about hookah in Turkey, I always think about getting the cold because I was sick for like a good two days. Absolutely. And it was so cold. We went 
in the winter like in December January and so it was so cold the rain was so cold and it was windy and I just remember the bad experience of just feeling sick and it was right before COVID hit in 2020 2020 yeah January 2020 but but it is a very beautiful country has a great culture and they are proud of their culture of course it is the Ottoman Empire so of course we love and we will go back there I definitely want to go back but I definitely want to go in the summer and then travel to like Cappadocia and Izmir Izmir and you know just you know just just do more traveling and more eating rather than because I mean we went there for like New Year's day and we spent like three or four days and so it, I mean, it was nice it was beautiful we got to see it do a lot while we were there but we need to go to like Salt Bay restaurant and do Barack and all of that stuff like just do the food just like pig out right. on food you know and all the desserts guys the desserts Woo. They have delicious, delicious puddings and things. Turkish delights. But yeah. So, anyhow, so we'll show you when we get to the restaurant. I will share with you. Yeah, guys. So, guys, so we just got to Agora and parked. There is a garage here. In the back. It's there so are some places for Agora customers. Yeah. So, yes. We are so very Hungry. So hungry, we just broke our fast in the car. Yeah. We ate a date and drank some Gatorade. Some <laughs> so it was good. Yep. It looks big. Yeah. This is your first coffee today. That's amazing. These are the cups, just like what we actually just bought in Amazon. I love it. How cool is that? Baba 
Okay. I don't like that. That picture, your head was so big. I know. Look at my head now. <laughs> Damn, head. boy! What do you have in there? I have food. I have baklava. <laughs> I have kebab. <laughs> Shit! Oh, right. Such a beautiful night. Yes. All right. So, how was your dinner? Amazing. I need to walk to home now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta walk. Oh my god. Oh, man. That was great. It was so nice. This place is so beautiful as you can see. We try to take as much video as possible. But yeah. That's nice. Very it was good. nice. So we love Tyson's Corner. Oh my god, it's so nice out here. I'm so full. You know that time when you were like so hungry? Yeah. And then that moment that you have the first date. Yes. <laughs> it's so good. And then you stuff your face. But we didn't actually really stuff our faces too much. But... No, we just stuffed our face. <laughs> no, it, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It's not that bad. But. Yes, it was really amazing. Yeah. I have enjoyed my iftar uh, as well. We gotta be a gentleman with my queen. <laughs> Wow, look at your skin, how it looks. Sahara is the best. It just makes your skin so soft. Amazing. <laughs> I love it. That's great, baby.
was a great afternoon. Uh, nothing was planned. Everything was spontaneous. Um, was a good Ramadan evening. Yes, we have really enjoyed this evening. It was really amazing, actually. We didn't plan for it, and then we found ourselves watching the baseball with the friends and having a great iftar, actually. Yeah, it was a think? it was a good iftar. We were a little hungry at the game. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all people drinking and eating. Yeah, there were these two kids in front of us that had Magnum ice cream. Oh, I'm and, you know, watching people eat some popcorn. That's what I want. And you know, Magnum is my favorite ice cream of all time. So those damn little kids in the front. <laughs> two of them with yeah. chocolate and vanilla. It was, uh, so it was a little painful being at the game. That was our first time ever going to a game during uh, Ramadan. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that again. It was a little bit, it's a little challenging, especially because it was a little bit warm as well. So, but yeah. It's, it's a great way to spend time. I did my facial routine that I normally do using our Tanji Skin products. Absolutely. Nothing else but our product. It's so good, guys. It's so good. And then also, Mahmoud made. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, then Mahmoud made me some. Moroccan mint tea and that's it's very delicious and uh, yeah that's gonna help calm the evening down and what time is it it's almost 12 oh it's almost 12 o'clock so <sighs> <laughs> exhausted actually. actually what I'm actually gonna do is take the leftover tea and use that as sohor because normally I do coffee and I don't feel like I want to have any coffee in the morning. So I'm going to do a little bit of Moroccan mint with extra green tea in the morning to That's give nice. me that extra little boost at Sohor. Yeah, great idea. And we want to thank you that you were here with us, enjoying with us. We want to thank you, family. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here with us, following us and always helping us to be given more to you thank you <laughs> yeah guys all right we'll see you soon at the next vlog ciao, ciao. ciao.